Well, I read a lot. I had a good think. And I had a cup of tea. And I still don't know anything. But I think I've identified one way in which I'm approaching this in not the best way. I'm approaching this visually, right? That's like kind of how I'm solving this. It's like, I'm looking around the map and, oh, wow, this looks interesting. You know, I'll click on this one. Oh, that flashy one looks good. And in reading the scroll from the beginning to the end, what becomes clear to me is that the reason that won't work is that all of these puzzles are jumbled together. And so the question as always is, how can I systematize what I'm doing? I've tried a bunch of time to take notes, a bunch of times to take notes while I play. And what I've got is a bunch of nonsense words written in a note with no organization. So if we look at the, uh, where is it? This kind of, no, that's not it. I've managed to lose it. If we look at the, the book, what I think of as the Eye of Horus scroll or the Book of Thoth scroll, this actually gives us one way to organize it, which is for each row, it's telling us what clue it expects. So if we look at the two that we've solved so far by luck, we've got the mystic chant is disguised. Well, that was the scramble where you entered the um, one of the phrases you found on the scrolls into a cipher. And we've got the maze of thorns is disguised. We did a simpler, similar thing. So we know in here, I'm not, positive that this is going to remain true, but disguise seems to point to those cipher um, decoders. Starting at the top, we've got the kings are confused. Now confused is different than disguised, but I'm going to go ahead and take a note. And this time I'm actually writing down the kings are confused. Whatever this clue is, it's probably going to come from the, the king puzzles, which are kind of scattered throughout um, things, scattered throughout the game. We've got within the kingdom of pentacles. Okay, I'm not literally going to write all these down. I'm going to pick a two, pick a couple and start with those and see if this framework works. The queens are confused. So we need to know what confused means. Probably, I mean, my instinct is probably means a word scramble. Within the kingdom of the wands, the path of six is disguised. Knights and pages are confused. The Hierophant is disguised and confused. If justice be done, don't know what that means, probably has to do with the justice card. Within the kingdom of the swords, follow the straight path. That's the thing we saw earlier. Locate a J and begin from there. Within the kingdom of the cups, and eight in the land are disguised. I also can't help but notice these double outlined squares here, right? And I can't help but notice that they're, they're broken up. And the crossword, the cryptic crossword puzzle solver in me sees that this one is, if these are broken up as words, which is not certain, this is a two letter word right? That begins in O. And I'm going to make the assumption that that's what that is. And I'm going to make the assumption that this up here is that. And I don't know if that's true, but I, I want to go along with it and see, uh, see how that goes. All right. So, so the confused, I feel like I know where that's going, but then there's this within the kingdom of the pentacles. So what does that mean? And where is the kingdom of the pentacles? So the pentacles is this second group here. So from 
uh, from the juggler through to temperance. And we can find that. Knight of Pentacles. Wands. Oh, I went too far. The juggler. Okay, so from here. Pentacle, page of pentacles, the world to here. So there's a lot going on here, right? There's various symbols on the scroll. Let's walk through. Oh, okay. So there is, if we look at the puzzles, this one is entirely within the kingdom of the pentacles. Whoa. Oh my God. The puzzles have names and I just noticed this now. So by clicking on that, I got Kingdom of the Pentacles up here. What happens if we click on the maze? Well, we already did that one. Secret code, secret code, Kingdom of the Swords, Kingdom of the Cups. That one we know is the straight path. What's this one? I don't really get anything there. And this has got to be Kingdom of the Wands. Okay. So within the Kingdom of the Pentacles, it looks like what we're looking for are Three, four, five, six, seven, eight three-letter words. And we've had a lot of three-letter words. So let's start at the juggler and just start looking. Those are longer words. Okay, so we got A-I-H, the blacksmith. Above the three pentacles, right above the three pentacles. Phi. And here's a merchant. I have only half a puzzle, and how is four a half when the puzzle is eight naturally? And even in this I have failed, I need the words of the four who prece precede me. So the merchant needs these four words, a, ra, mir, and fi, or phi. Queen has a four letter word. Once I have consulted with the four sages that await me, I shall be halfway there. So both the merchant needs the words of the four who precede him, and the page needs the words of the ones who await him. So that tells us something about ordering. And here we've got some more words. We've got yes, era, sip. That's temperance, isn't it? And then the hanged man. The hanged man is not in that second group. So either we missed a word, which is entirely possible, um, or these things don't go, these things aren't, aren't actually broken up solely by menu position, right? Um, where's the hangman here? 
Well, let's take a look. So, if I'm right, then these words we got second come first, because the page needs those words and they await him. It's looking good. That's going to spell sapphire. Star sapphire. We got one of the treasures. Amazing. And that means we can go here. Then the kingdom of the pentacle. Star, sapphire, and our H. Our H was correct. Well, I can note that that one's solved. Since we had such luck with that, Let's look for the next kingdom. Within the Kingdom of the Wands, it is two four-letter words. Kingdom of the Wands is at the beginning. Let's look at the map. The Page of Wands starts here. And I remember there's bow is one of the words, right? Well, hold on, I don't know that these are three-letter words. In fact, they're probably not. So this is probably Kingdom of the Wands. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So they're driven, divided up into four groups of two words of three letters. All right. Let's start. Egliok could be something. Could be related to this because three times two is six. So these could break up somehow. But I'm suspecting because I remember that bow word. I think we should be looking for a clue here similar to what the merchant was saying. Mystical chant we've already used. The four kings have declared truce between the four. Between the four kings, one of the land's treasures will be restored. Okay, the pyramids we thought, or I thought, might have been hex. And we've got red and urn here. Bad yam. Okay, so maybe that bow was for a different puzzle because the clues we're getting here all have two words which fit those groups in the, uh, the puzzle on the sun's map and rat ivy. So that gives us, there's our four clues, right? Red urn, bad yam, new gnu, rat ivy. But I don't think we know how they are organized. And now we're out of the juggler. Between the four. I mean, they may be giving us no hints here. Well, let's see. Let's read this a little more closely. Canopy and four staffs. Boys fighting. Only little lambs eat ivy. Well, okay. So I started, I was saying how thinking visually doesn't help, but when we look at 
the grid, we see that the red urn is in the upper left and the rat ivy is in the upper right. And so maybe this just follows the path. Upper left, lower left, lower right, upper right. So actually it is visual, if we're correct. Red. Ruby. Ruby ring. That's two out of the four within the kingdom of Z. Okay, so that was here, right? No. The kingdom of the wolves. Ruby. So let's go on to the kingdom of cups or swords. Swords and cups. We'll do swords first since that's five and five is what I see there. And interesting to note that we still were entirely within a group, so that was correct. So this goes from the Emperor to the Page of Swords. Kingdom of Swords. So we need to start at the Emperor. Where is it? It's pretty far along, isn't it? The Emperor. The Emperor through to... And again, I'm guessing... Well, let's take a look. Two and two, three and three, three words of two. So this is a little more complicated, this one. Let's see if it's there's a clue on the high priestess. First, bring me the sacred inscription from the evil dark tower. And second, deliver the letters from the banner of death. Well, I remember because I've been looking at it on the map that the banners from the tower of death are ZA. And if I'm wrong, you can all make fun of me. Uh, let's go to the tower. QM. Uh, the thing that is fantastic about the Fool's Errand, when it's firing on all cylinders, and Cliff Johnson's puzzles generally, is that they have this nature that once you understand the key or what he's looking for, once you kind of know what he's thinking of. Um, it seems easy, but all the moments before then, um, it seems just impossible to understand what's going on. So it's kind of the opposite of a puzzle that is easy, but makes you feel very smart. These are actually very hard, but you don't feel that smart once you figured it out because you see the trick then. You know, the light in here is a bit grim. I'm going to see what I can do to improve it. All right, so let's go back and let's see if there's a clue here on this. It's not really a quadrant, but take the blood of a man killed by 10 and smear it upon the weapon of an outnumbered warrior. Oh no. Okay, well, these are gonna be two words of three each. So let's go through. The dead warrior, pus. So that's the second word, I believe. No, blood of a man killed by 10. So that's the first one. Uh-oh, I've made it all the way through the Kingdom of Swords. Well, I didn't start at the beginning, so... The 
weapon of an outnumbered warrior. No, I'm not seeing the outnumbered warrior. All right, well, we know that... I mean, this has to be, right? Probably. Well, let's go look at the Wheel of Fortune. Oro, Roar, D&D. Well, that's going to be Sword. But it's not going to give it to us yet because we haven't filled in the whole thing. So this has to be a three-letter word ending. Oh, hold it. <laughs> okay, this is clearly Egli Ock, which is like one of the first clues we got in the game. Uh, not in the Kingdom of Swords. So how did we get there? Let's look at this nightmare and see if there's I saw a man carrying ten wooden staffs staves and I think that and here's our man carrying ten wooden staffs he's the one who says eggly okay so we've we've proven that one but most interestingly I think this is the first one of these that it has not taken place in the Kingdom of the Swords. It taken place entirely within the Kingdom that it's set. So this one could be anywhere, but there is, right after that Egli Ock, was this warrior who's under siege, surrounded by seven magical staffs. He's the guy with the bow. Remember the bow? We talked about that earlier. So I think this is bow. Apparently not. Oh, I see. I typoed the Wheel of Fortune. It's, oh no. Now we've got the third treasure of this type. Let's go ahead and magic sword. Oh, I see. I typoed the Wheel of Fortune. It's oh no. Now we've got the third treasure of this type. Let's go ahead and magic sword. Let's see what we can do about the Kingdom of the Cups. This is a big one. Three, five, five, four, four, three, four, four, three, four, four, four. So most of the words are four letters. And a few five letter words and a few three letter words. And it goes from the Hanged Man to the Moon. The Hanged Man starts here. And the Moon is here. <laughs> what is obvious to some is not obvious to all, said the Upside Down Man. Consider that the top is at the bottom of the upper half. All right, I'm not going to be able to keep these straight, so I'm going to literally enter them when I can, as the clues make clear. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Bottom of the upper half looks like this to me. I'm putting top there. We've got KD, see key who holds two swords. Maybe that's only half of it. Could be related to another puzzle though. So 
the word of a star and the word of a pyramid. I was looking at this, so that's air and hex. We know from last session. Arranging flowers into six straw vases. No clues here about position, so I'm not sure if these are part of this. Just for now, let's see if that has anything to do with what we're doing. Oh, wait. The, does the fact that only part of this puzzle is in here matter? Well, we are the last of those who care. So care is their word. He is a wand and I am a cup. The work of the devil and despair. So the devil's word is dead. And the devil and despair's word is grief. Four letters and five letters. Their words must be spoken with ours. So we've got a four, a four, and a five. And they're down here. But I don't know if that's relevant or not. So we've got five, five, four, 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 four. So the only place where five letter word. I'm very low confidence here that this is right. Yeah, this is not looking. Uh, what if we do that? Well, we'll put it there for now and we'll come back and see if there's some clue. Leap for joy. And if I if air and hex are relevant, then I think I've already used up all the three letter words. So that's not great. I think we are definitely mixing in words here that are not part of this puzzle. And I think that as we find more obvious ones that are part of this puzzle, uh, that will fall out. So there's a four letter word here, but this isn't a queen. And I recall that in the Eye of Horus meta puzzle, there's a thing about the queens being confused. So I, I don't think this is one of our words, and I'm not going to write it down. Cup 
press T, cloud. Some numbers. Those feel like they've got to be related to some other puzzle. Four others have come before you. Fifteen and twenty-four and two. You know, all of these numbers, even though I think they're probably not part of this, all these numbers are below twenty-six. So like A, B, C, D, E, F. I'm wondering if this is F, O. Well, I don't think this is part of this puzzle, but I'm going to... 13th letter is... No, maybe the 13th letter is M. Absolutely looking this up. Letters of the alphabet by number. <laughs> Surely someone has a chart. Yes, someone has a chart. M is 13. Sorry, I'm just not going to sit here and write out the alphabet when. Okay, this is O, B, and T, if that's right. N, H, and O. Sixteen is P. Foobs in the Hobbit box for solved. shows you only of the places you have visited and never the places you found. Well, compared to the other within the kingdom ofs, this is tougher because we have a lot of words and for the most part, I don't feel like most of them have had a lot of directions. So like top is the bottom of the upper half. That's a clear direction telling me, or a clue telling me where uh, it goes. But a lot of these a lot of these I don't know what order they want them in. other and I don't think I found any other five letter words that's the other thing so we're missing at least one word here I just didn't find it um, what haven't I used I'm just gonna put them here I haven't used leap joy does not fit if we use hex uh, wish nine we've used so we're missing at least a few Star Sapphire is the Pentacles. Ruby Ring was... I don't remember who the Ruby Ring was. But the one... Yeah, I don't know. I feel like that is likely. But beyond that, those are the only th these are the only two clues I have any confidence in. All right, so I'm going to set this one aside. It is longer and harder than the other two, or the other three rather. Let's look at what else we've got. I mean, again, you could apply um, some logic here, like one of these is going to be, you know, 
emerald, right? <laughs> Just almost certainly, we know. Uh, but let's see. Let's do one of these confused ones. And let's look for a small one as our first. The knights and pages are confused. All right. And it's four and four. Bold face this so that I know to come back to it. Knights and pages confused. So we're just going to go to every knight and every page. Ooh. Okay, so this word of the pyramid, I might have been way off. Knight of Wands. This H-E-X might have been part of this Knights and Pages puzzle and not the other one. E and X. Tewa, Gurki, and Inkro. Once I have consulted with the four sages that await me, I shall be halfway there. I have no idea what that means. Page of Cups. KD. Knight of Cups. Nothing there. Age of Swords, eight giant letters. You know, I started this one because I thought it would be easy. Nine. There are eight giant letters across the land, right? We've got D and R. Assuming these big four letters here are not the ones. D R B U F Y. You. I'm missing one. Hello. <laughs> clearly that's going to spell amethyst. I'm frustrated because clearly there's a letter, there's a giant letter on this map that I'm just not seeing. Right? Where is it? <laughs> I'm feeling very thick right now. Is it underneath? Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna like search here to find the Y. Querty, yep. And then I'm going to look and see. Hmm. Did none of these translate to Y? 
DRUB should be DRBU. Or is amethyst, with, yeah. DRBU, is there an order here? Let's see. DR. Yes, it is in order, BU. So I went out of order because my eyes, BU, F, right? Y, V, it is literally underneath something I have on my screen. I have a, my camera is sticking down a leg and it was covering up the V. Incredible. Okay, one more final check. D R U, no, D R B U F V Y U. D R B U F V Y U you finally all right and let's enter that in we did not get our knights and pages are confused right that was a different one probably here eight in the land Well, what are the, some of the other confused ones? I feel like we've got to get one of these confused ones solved. We've got the queens and the kings. Let's try the kings first. Well, second, really. Is there no king of wands? Oh, the kings are right over here. They're all together in that battlefield. I think I know how this one's going to go. So each of the kings has a letter in the scroll, and each of the kings also has a letter on the map, right? So the question is, how are they grouped? Got N, Z, T, and U, which doesn't spell anything. And then if we go to the map, we've got O, E, R, A. And if we look here, well, obviously I'm wrong because this is 12 letters, and I only have eight. So something, so that's not enough. Is there anything in the scroll here that gives us a clue? His weapon was engraved with the letter N. They're all talking about something that's missing, right? They're all missing something. is there's these four they're all talking about their four treasures and in each kingdom there's a large version of a treasure a huge wand a huge sword and each of those i think have a letter on them so the wand has an s the pentacle has a b cup has a t The 
sword has an E. And so that gives me 12 letters. Uh, the well-known word is to or uh, spede. Um, there's a Z in there and there's a B. And so immediately I think bronze is one of the words. And if I take out the NZ and the O and the B, I think it's bronze statue. That's what I think. Let's find out. Oops. And our guess of T for this um, letter here helps us confirm our theory. So that's pretty good. All right, so that wasn't too bad. That was interesting because it wasn't just an anagram. It was actually figuring out where these letters come from. What next? Well, how about we look at the Queen's next? I recall the Queen's stories being a bit elliptical. So this may be another one where we have to hunt around. For the right answer. Queens are confused. And the king is solved. Um, I considered having my notes on screen for this, but literally it's just a mess of words that I'm writing down. It's, it's probably not helpful at all. If only my son, the page, would come home. Okay, so the queen's giving us clack. Thank you, Your Majesty. The queen of pentacles. She's giving us TSRC. The queen of cups gives us Inal. Swords gives us EKE. So I'm comparing this in some ways to more recent and uh, very different games like uh, Return of the Obra Din, The Root Trees Are Dead, um, and what is the name of uh, the jeweled uh, Case of the Golden Idol. And one thing those games do in the UI that is super helpful. <laughs> and makes the puzzles much more solvable or tractable, is that as you um, solve parts of it, those clues will kind of be taken off the board. And I'm really wishing I had that here because the scrolls are just full of all these magic words. And, you know, this game would be, um, I'm not saying easier is better, but it would be a lot easier if, for example, if I use this word EKE -E, that I'm looking at, uh, if that would change color so that I know, okay, you've, you've fixed, you've done that one. You don't need to think about it anymore. So let's go back and look at what we've got here. Queens are confused. Three, seven, 10, 13, 15 letters. And we have 15 letters. Um, clock, chursk, inal, ik. Well, let me see. Why don't I share this? For, for this one in particular, I'm not gonna share it for everything, but let's, let's take a look. Right, so queens are confused. That's right here. And right away, we got a lot of C's, we got a Y, and the pattern of the answers here, when we look at it, you know, bronze thing, ruby, diamond, there's always like this adjective noun thing going on here. And so right away, I think, crystal something. And so what does that leave us with? All right, get rid of that.
T A L. Crystal Clackanique. Gotta have your crystal Clackanique. So, if we assume that this is crystal, and we assume the second letter here. Necklace, that's what this is. It's a crystal necklace. Can we fill in the rest of this word here? The G blank FT. <laughs> I'm just reading it, it's gotta be gift. The gift of something. Path of six is disguised. The knights and pages are confused with a T on the end if our assumption of gift here is correct. So how many letters in knights and pages are confused? Four, eight, twelve, and thirteen. Okay, so knights and pages are confused. We might we might have a handle here. There are thirteen letters, and there are a lot of these words that um, appear in various knights and pages puzzles. But, excuse me, if there are 13 letters in the answer, I think this is 13 letters. 5, 9, 13. So maybe, I'm going to make an inference here. Maybe it's just this one. So let's think about that. I'm totally wrong. Knights and pages are eight letters. I don't know where I got 13. I think I was looking at the path of six as disguised. I hate when I make mistakes like that. So if we go back to the hermit, we have this puzzle, remember a J and proceed from there. We go through the straight path and then immediately we find this person, judgment, telling us to heed the advice of the hermit. So this is clearly related to that one. And then on the next one, we've got this advice. Four to the north, seven to the west, three to the north, eight to the west, six to the south, five to the east, nine to the north. Well, that's pretty straightforward directions. See if we can solve the state path. So we need to locate a J. And our first instruction is four north. So it's not going to be that one or any J up here. Let's start at the bottom. J, four to the north, seven to the west. Three to the north. Jade. All right, I think this is it. Eight to the west. Six south. Six. Five east. One, two, three, four, five. Nine north. It's going to be a jade idol. Can we click on another L? We can. Okay. And it highlights the correct ones. That's funny. All right. Well, that's another county heard from. Um, 
And now we have an SD in this word, so pretty obviously, and I mean, I played this years ago, so it's coming back to me now. The Gift of Wisdom. It does not finish the puzzle. It requires us to get everything before it uh, gives us a victory condition, which is good. We're getting down to only the hard ones left here. I think I'm going to take a break here and come back on another day, but I will cut this video together. I think if this one takes two hours, it takes two hours. I'll try and edit down some of the parts where I'm staring at the screen slack jawed. But I want to get through this. We've got the Book of Thoth about halfway filled in here. We have a number of clues left. We have the Path of Six is disguised. The Knights and Pages are confused. The Hierophant is disguised and confused. If justice be done, and within the Kingdom of the Cups. Uh, within the Kingdom of the Cups, I feel like we are on the way to solving, but I've hit a roadblock there. So I'm gonna save that one. I don't think we've looked at if justice be done. So let's go back to the map and find justice. To lift, what we're doing here is we're looking at the bold faced words to tell us either part of the word that we're looking for or what to do to find that word. So this looks like instructions on what to do. To lift the curse, the emperor must simply take what is his from what is hers. So the emperor is over Oh, I just had it. Sorry, I'm, uh, I guess I should wear my glasses. Oh, right there, the emperor. With dove, okay, I have my notes here. We, we looked at this one. Take what is his from what is hers. Vile shadow and five circle. Got that. And what I determined was that if I subtract the letters in with dove from these two words, I end up with ill shave circle, which doesn't sound like a treasure, but let's go back to the map. So what did I say? L shave circle. If just can I just okay, so the third, this letter is I. But let's just type in Okay, so it it fits. It's the right number of letters, so we just need to unscramble it. So I'm gonna move that C there and that I here. Following the pattern of kind of modifiers, bronze, ruby, diamond, this is probably silver. Right? I can't click to move these things. Why don't I? So that's S goes there. I goes there. L goes there, and that puts an H there. V and A are going to swap. H and E are going to swap. And now that A and that R are going to swap. So what can this spell? This is a chalice. Silver chalice. That feels right. All right. So now the nice thing about filling in the scroll like this is that when you start doing the end game and you saw this if you've been coming following along this journey with me you're um, just buried under all of these word fragments and who knows which ones go where um, I'm pretty sure that none of them are reused so if you're doing this with pen and paper which I probably should be I'm actually just typing notes in a window, I should probably be doing it on paper. If you do it on pen and paper, you can cross them out as you go. But you don't know that, to be fair, the first time you play it, you can't be sure that these words aren't reused. But I'm just gonna, spoilers, they're reused. 
Um, so this one's interesting. The Hierophant is disguised and confused. I mean, this word almost seems like it's got to be flower. But I hate to fill that in prematurely. Uh, let's see. Path of six, knights and pages. I feel like knights and pages are confused. Like that should be straightforward, right? Let me see if I have any notes. Knights and pages are confused. Right. So I wrote down some very long words that I got, I think, from the knights and the pages. So let's look. Right, and it's just like these random letters, and that seems wrong. I don't think that's right, because there's there's too many of these words. We only have, was it four and four, I think? Yeah, four and four, the knights and pages are confused. So stuff like Pewa, Erki, and Nunkro, Doesn't seem like it can be relevant. KD. I think I missed one of these guys. Knight of Swords. That doesn't help. What if we look at the path. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. And they have letters on their map. Okay, let's do an alternate. And immediately, Page of Wands, this, there's four suits. Swords, cups, pentacles, and staffs. And a knight and a page for each. That's eight, and we know we need eight letters. I think this this sounds this seems likely. Page of Wands. Of course, I don't know where these guys are, so I'm gonna have to walk the whole path. Although I guess I could be looking for letters. Page of Pentacles is a U. This is the Page of Cups. That's a D. Uh, I must have missed one somewhere. Knight of Pentacles, right there. No, that's Cathedral. Knight of Pentacles is L. And we know they're confused, so this should just be a, um, to descramble these. A T, that's six letters. So now we just need the Knight and Page of Swords. That's an O. And a G, OG. Well, let's just gonna enter these as we found them and descramble them that way. Okay. Well, doing the same thing I did before, let's look for the modifier and it, it surely has to be gold. Switch the L and the U. Gold Utst. Gold dust. That's very valuable substance. Oh, gold dust. Okay. D U S T. We're getting down to the hard ones, aren't we? Hmm. We've got the path of six is disguised. The hierophant is disguised and confused. And within the kingdom of the cups. What even is the path of six? What is the path of six? Wasn't it? Wasn't there something about I am the first of... I thought it was I am the first of four. But maybe I'm misremembering it. All right. Well, I'm beginning to understand why he used boldface. <laughs> Between the four, one of the... We used the archway already, I'm pretty sure. I'm <laughs> The bold face makes it very easy to do what I'm doing here and kind of... Hello. 
There we go. Words jump out at us. I am the first of six. Uh, half of six. Should be using pen and paper. I feel very bad about this. So he possesses the sacred RW. Next you must seek he who chases a fish. That should be an easy task if all I have to do is locate a fisherman. Well, did it say the path of six is confused? No, it's disguised. So disguised, I think we decided, or I decided, means that we have to enter into one of those cipher machines. So I was going to consider, you know, keeping track of these here so you could see them. Sure, why not? We'll do that. I, it's, it's not going to be the answer, but that's fine. Okay, so he who chases a fish. There's a fish on the map. I remember seeing like visually there's literally a fish. I thought it was down here. This is one of those situ- there we go, right there. A page of cups, okay. Page is indeed chasing a fish, and he has a KD. Now he wants to seek she who holds two swords. I want to say that based on my vague memory of tarot, uh, it's despair that holds two swords. She should be here. Nope. Despair is eight swords. Oh well, let's see. It's gotta be in the swords somewhere. Okay, so this is not she who holds two swords, but I notice there's a sacred word and it's a two letter word. I'm gonna write that down off to the side here. I bet we're gonna come back to this one and then seek the broken wheel. We'll keep, we'll keep looking for two swords. And we're, I'm actually going to look for two-letter two words, since that seems to be the pattern here. Now I've uh, gone out of bounds here. That's the KD. And are these in order? Like, do you encounter one, then the other, then the other? I don't know why I don't think so. I'm the first of six, okay. Well, so what did I say, despair was where we were? This is the broken wheel. Um, so, that comes after the YH. He's uncovered the mystic HA. I've missed the two swords, lady, but we'll find we'll find them. Um, with it, I must locate a thief who steals seven. I'm going to just keep going. And looking for two levels. There we go. There's a thief here, and he is stealing seven letters. So that is the magic word RW, and it is the last of its kind. And I noticed that these past three were all in order, so maybe these do go one, two, three. So let's go back to... I must have just missed it. Let's go back to the Page of Cups. She who holds two swords. And I'm going forward here. For two letters, a mystic word of two letters. Does the high priestess hold two swords? No. I think we already used the high priest. I thought we used the high priestess's letters already. Heart pierced by three swords. I think we already used that clue. Four swords. Oh, no, this is our YH. Well, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have ten letters. I don't know what happened to our two swords. I'm going to keep looking just in case it. Black Knight. No. Yeah, I. Uh... Steps. I'm going to cut this video while I page through this. I'll be right back. Okay, I found it, and the reason I didn't find it before is the pattern that I assumed was there was not a pattern. Um, here is a woman holding two rusty swords, and she has a three letter word. Easy C. So inserting that in the middle of our word, we get the magic word. Let's see. K D E Z C Y H H A R W. Yeah, the Rubudka Iskagaguru. I never get tired of it. I know it's a bad joke. All right. So this is not confused. So this is not a word scramble. This is disguised. For dis so for disguised, we need to find, I think we haven't used this one yet. You can see I was trying various things here. That's a nice long word. Let's see, R, W, K, D. This is looking right, easy C, Y, H, H, A, R, W. Onyx medallion, great. We are truly on our way. Ooh, we're getting down to it. Okay, so what have we already used? I have, I want to go back to this within the Kingdom of the Cups puzzle. So to refresh your memory, as I minimize the wrong window, to refresh your memory, that is this puzzle here. And the sense is that this puzzle has to do with these words that the four or five puzzles near it mention. And we've written a lot of them down. Okay, we've got air and hex are the words of the star in the pyramid, I'm pretty sure. I wrote down KD, but that was already used for our other puzzles. So I'm removing that one. We've got care. Got the words of devil and despair, which are dead and grief. Got leap and joy. Got wish. I haven't done anything with this. The food of fertile seeds. Fourteen treasures of the world. And these are nine, and I am the last. And then we had Enal, but I, I think that was used in the Queen's Puzzle. But, so let's go back here. And we know that nine is the last, right? I, I feel very confident that that's a direct, direct uh, clue. And so we could just, you know, joy, air, hex. Um, what else have we got? Is this the, oh, is grief the, no, it's two five letter words. But I only have one. Um, let me put it in there. What else do we put in here? This may help us, this uh, clear signal that dispels something. Sleep, care, dead, wish. G-R-I-E, this would be. Yeah, I 
like that more. Have we used the prefix jeweled yet? We have not. I can't tell if this is my instinct or if this is um, now, but we don't have a five letter word yet. That's going to be the problem. We need, the, and the only words left are these food of fertile seeds. Did they say how many they ate? But we know, I'm absolutely guessing, oops, that's not what I meant to do. If this was jeweled, that's a food of a fertile seed. Um, care ends in E. I'm just putting a leap. So now we need an E in the middle, that would be hex. Dead works there. Jeweled, jeweled ween. <laughs> jeweled, jeweled something. Uh, it's probably not wish, but. A jeweled crown would work, but then, oh, I messed up. Uh, hex needs to be joy. So that's not, crown doesn't fit, does it? See, our, well, it would fit if that were. We're going to have to figure out the rest of this. Fruit of fertile seeds. There's a farm somewhere here, right? Farm is down here, a farmer. If only I had some fertile seeds to plant. Okay. That should be in bold. Like, I'm glad I found it. That should be in bold. Right, and here we got Tewa, Erki, and Incro. And they're jumbled. Tewa's wheat. We already lucked into that one. So, going back here. Incro has to be corn. Ursi has to be rice. Okay, so... Jeweled worm. Okay, so maybe jeweled is not right. Maybe that's a red herring. We could switch rice and corn. doesn't help us. We can split, switch rice and care. That doesn't help us either. It's got to be a crown. It just has to be. Which would mean this would have to be air, right? Oh, I have joy here twice. <laughs> ah, now it looks a lot more like if I switch corn and care. Jeweled crown. Okay. And that's this one. So that brings us to the Hierophant, who is disguised and confused. So, in a previous episode, we looked at the Hierophant, and he says four others have come before him, 
And in fact, immediately before, and the Hierophant gives us, gives us some numbers. And immediately before that, we have some numbers. And I don't know what to do with these numbers. I can read them to you, but it doesn't really help very much. So one thing I did was I did a very naive correspondence of these numbers to letters in the alphabet. You know, A is one, B is two. And from that I got Fug to Nahapa Baksa. Um, that doesn't unscramble to anything, but they say the Hierophant is disguised and confused. So we do, I think, still have one more. Not that one. Okay, so my assumption here was that we would have to translate these to letters, enter the letters into one of our little decrypting machines that we have here, and then unscramble what it gives us back. However, unless I'm not seeing it, which happens, um, we've used all the decrypting machines. So that can't be what, that can't be the answer. So let's forget about these letters because the letters are my hallucination, aren't they? What we have is numbers. There are numbers on the map. Those numbers are near letters. first thing I got was 6. Right. So I have 6, 13, 15, 2, 20, 14. I'm not going to read that. So first number I have is 6. I see. So is it G or is it A? I'm going to do two alternate solutions. Here. G and A. And I need a 13. Are these in order? These are, there's no way they're going to be in order. They're going to be all over the place. And I'm going to have to look. I have to cut the video now so that I make a note to remember to bleep that word. They're going to be all the heck over the place. One They're going to be all the heck over the place. This is a family video. 13, 13, 13. I'm like moving my mouse along here and I know because I'm clumsy, I'm going to move the 13. All right, there's 13 and it's right next to a D. Like the six was next to an A and there is no other number or letter near it. So I think that means our G thought was wrong. So D. Now I need 15. That's up here by luck. E. I need a 2. That's a 21. That's not a 2. There's a 2. R. I need 20. O. I need 14. B. No, no, I got that wrong. 14 is W. I need an eight. F, 15, again, that's an E, 16. 16 is L, and in fact, I have two 16s, then a 15, which was an E. And a 24, and then another 2. 24. 22, 25, everything but 24. Thrill, as I try to read there, 24, M. And then 2 was R. Okay. So that's here, right? So what I got is... Oops. Actually, hold on. Why did I have an F here? I don't know why I had an F here. A D E R O W F. I'm going to blow this away and just, you know, F E L. It doesn't fit. So either I'm, maybe I miscounted. Three, six, nine, 12, 13, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I have thirteen numbers. I must have typed it wrong. A D E R O W F E L L E M R. Okay, that does fit. All right. So we know that this is W. So I'm going to swap the W and the E. And for some reason, I had an F here and I don't, oh, because of. So I'm going to swap this F, this F with this E. E and F. Uh, my theory was that this was flower and I'm going to go with that. So that's going to be an E and we change an E into an M. That R can stay, that L can stay. This L is going to swap with this O. So if flower is right, it doesn't have to be. Um, what substance, what adjective would the words, A -D, the letters A-D-E-R-L-E-M spell? Emerald. flower. Well, now I have a problem <laughs> because it feels to me like I have filled this in, but I don't, oh, hold on, maybe I, is this one of those things where I click? No, but I don't see anything happening. So either there's an error somewhere on here or I've failed to fill in something else on the map. Oops, I just ruined it. So it's still letting me make changes. So I'm clearly not correct. Onyx medallion, mahogany, son of a gun. I'm now wondering how many of you, please say so in the comments. How many of you have been watching this for the past six episodes and realized that instead of typing in mahogany staff, I typed in mystical staff. The gift of wisdom. Is this the final ending? Did we finish the, the fool's errand? Let's find out. That was like some amazing special effects for 1987. This moir pattern stuff. I remember writing a program in Applesoft Basic to make this type of moire. What is this? More evil treachery afoot has not the fool gained the gift of wisdom. Locate and double click the show finale file. This will open the prologue finale once again, but now you'll see the finale. Congratulations. We've done it. I'm going to do it to you. You know I got to do it. I got to stretch this out one more week. I want to put on my game face. I want to get a haircut. I want to anoint myself with oils, wear suit maybe, and then, and only then, show you the finale to The Fool's Errand. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. We'll be here next week for what I hope will be my last Fool's Errand video ever. This has been Tea Leaves Programming. We're gaming like it's 1979. Thanks for watching.